exercise time for the little wild bunnies. In the litter pen, we have Reed. He's the only male. He's very finicky. He likes to hop and do everything that mommy doesn't want him to do. Eating lettuce, we have Rebecca Sue. Yeah, that's Rebecca Sue there eating some lettuce. And over here eating some pellets and water and Reed running in front because he has to have his camera time. Well, there again, that's Reed. Over on this side, he's eating lettuce is Rebecca Sue. I'm not. And there in the middle is Lillian. They have become very used to the dogs barking. They just go on with themselves. They're okay with the cats as long as they're in their cage. And just to let you know how far they have, they have the hallway here. There is a lot of stuff here that I have barricaded so that they can't get through. But there's a little step that goes into our bedroom. And they have the length of the hallway. And then I had used the rabbit cage or the dog cage to block the banister off. They love playing with Kara's ball. Over in the far corner here, I have a little Pringles can that has a little bits of dog food in it. They love rolling that around. They love the sound of it for some reason. And again, these were bottle fed rabbits wild rabbits and they were bottle fed from one week old they uh, this past Sunday was eight weeks today is Thursday so they're almost nine weeks old they love eating the regular rabbit food and um, the alfalfa pellets they love eating the the lettuce mixture that I give them it has mint and parsley and cilantro, no reed. And they just love frolicking around, as you can see. Ah. You hear me correcting them is because I don't want them on the step. The dogs and I are in the, in the one room so that I can let them run and uh, video record. There next to the litter box, it's just a little bit of plain cornflakes. No sugar added. They love eating it. It's a little treat for them. I don't give it to them often. Maybe once or twice a week. I tried raisins. They don't really like the raisins as much, but they do love the um, cornflakes. I lay the towel down and put a little bit of pine chips on it just because they are used to going to the bathroom in pine chips. Ah, ah. And um, the litter box is when Orko decides to come with them. Orca is in the, in the uh, bedroom here. 
he likes just running around. But he also likes laying with Max and Kara, so he's in here just chilling. He is under the bed, so I'm not able to video cam him. But this is what we do. We do it uh, twice a day for about an hour and a half. Gives him about three hours. Uh, sometimes it's a little less. I try to do at least three hours of run time for them just so that they get out of their cage a little bit and get to frolic around and jump like they did. They do um, understand that I'm mommy. They know that I feed them. When I have food, they come to me. So they are, they are trainable. Um, I don't know if, <laughs> just frolicking and running around. I don't know if they'll be uh, available for out in the wild anymore because they are so used to animals such as dogs and cats, which can be their predators. Um, but if anyone knows of any petting zoos or um, any facilities, schools or anything that would be interested in having a pet and to learn to study, they are trained and um you know please let me know they are free for adoption i'm not able to sell them i cannot give them to regular uh just a regular family because they are wild it is illegal to keep them and um i am in the process of trying to find them a home i have contacted several petting zoos i've also contacted the um Hershey Zoo there at Hershey Park and I'm just waiting for some uh, answers back so keep us in mind and wait until the next video bye